Do wine ratings matter? Yes and no. For those of you new to wine ratings, think of them as sort of a report card for wine, typically based on a scale of 0 to 100. This concept started in the 70s with the famed critic Robert Parker, and these days there are dozens if not hundreds of different scoring systems. Wine scores are supposed to look at several different aspects of a wine and give you an objective score for overall quality. But the problem with scores is that bias can influence the outcome. Scores are subject to the individual palate of every reviewer. So as much as we'd like to pretend that we're neutral, every one of us has our different likes and dislikes. That includes critics, too. It's important not to let the ratings run the show. My suggestion is to look for a consensus. If multiple respected critics are giving a wine high marks, you're probably getting a good wine. Likewise, if you find a wide disparity in wine scores, that might make you pause. While scores and ratings are not the be-all, end-all, there are some trusted sources out there that you can use as guidance as you build your skills. And lastly, remember that there are great wines out there that have no scores or ratings at all. So do your research, apply a little bit of critical thinking, and remember that in the end, scores are a little more than opinions. The best way to figure out if a wine is good or not is to develop and trust your own palate. Thanks for drinking with me today, and on behalf of WTSO, I'm Mark Subzik. Cheers.